This is the uh, winch installation on a 2019 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. Here's the winch, Super ATV, Black Ops, 5,000 pound winch, synthetic rope. It'll come with a universal mounting plate. You don't really use that unless you're trailers and such. It'll come with all the other basic accessories. Now you will get a, a standard switch. You see the picture of it right there in that. I just cut it off. Here it is right here. Just make sure you mark the top and the bottom, what direction they are. So that one's in and out. Just make sure you mark the colors. I marked it on a piece of paper and kept it to the side. Um, so let's show you what I've done so far. So in this mule, you've got a wire loom that's right here behind this control panel, right here. You can see the black and the red going through it already. So this runs from here all the way back to the battery box right there. Okay. So a bit of advice on it. You can use a piece of string, start in the top, use an air hose, blow it through the line, um, and then you'll basically pull the line all the way through. There's some other videos showing it done much easier. I highly recommend you use some type of either electrical um, pulling line. I just use some Vaseline. Just put it on the end of it, and it'll, it'll jerk through there. Super simple. Super, super simple. Um, so, so far I've done that. Um, the big thing about the mule is that you've got to find a hot and a ground if you use the same matching switches that are already on the dash. As such, I'm gonna mount my winch right here on the right. It'll be almost the same as the factory ranch edition. Um, so some people talk that you have to pull out this whole dash area with all these pins to get to a brown wire with a red stripe. Well, I'll, this is easier. Two screws. You've got a Phillips head down here, Phillips head down there. This is just clipped on right here. You pop it out, voila, there's your line right here. Ground on the right, and then you're going to need a ground on the left. So there's your hot, key on hot. There's your ground. You're going to need both of those. Now, both of those are going to be a bullet type connection. The Napa, here they are right here. You're going to have to use that to go. Um, to make the connection um, You have to take off the front bumper Front bumper is basically you have three screws here One here one set of screws here. I just laid it to the side and then I pulled my winch lines all the way through So basically I went I followed that wire loom To the right of it and kind of creaked itself down there And then there's a little Phillips head screw right here on this point. I pulled that off so you can see there's a zip tie and a metal tab right there. So basically I, I came through that same point. And then what I'll do is I'll went under this, looks to be a brake, yeah, it's a brake line. So I went under the brake line, but be careful to stay off this A-arm. And then I'm gonna zip tie this all done together. And then when my mount shows up, and then I'll put the rest of that on there. Um, so far that is kind of where I'm at. I'm just waiting for more parts and pieces to show up so I can finish this out hopefully this afternoon. Also, I would say, this door, um, take your air box out. Well, I left this, just clean, pull this whole piece right here out with your air filter because um, you're gonna put your, um, your black directly to the ground bar that's right here. And then you'll put your, your hot right here on the battery itself. Now, I went and talked to the Kawasaki dealership today and asked them why they put their contactor back here. They said they don't want to run a hot through the machine all the way to the front and always have a hot up there. Well, that's their call. So either way, you're gonna, that's also one of the lowest points on the machine. So if you do ride through water, mud, you are gonna fill that up with, it's not a sealed box. You know, it does get stuff in there. So I would rather have less electrical stuff in water. That's my opinion. Um, also this, this winch came with a wireless remote. Okay. So I'm going to put, use that. That's kind of what I chose it for. But the kind of the thing that I really enjoyed about this, 
switch was this solenoid that Super ATV makes. It's completely sealed. And you have a connector here. And this will go to the dash when I cut it out for the switch. So you just gotta find a part to mount that. I'll do that later um, in my next video. But that's kind of where I'm at and I'll update later on the next one.